All right, let's go. Let's unbox these fish. Um, with me, Lemel, or Emily from ADHD Aquatics. I have some very good news for you today. I am pregnant. I am with child. I'm very excited for this event in my life. Uh, I just found out a couple days ago, and we don't get to see the baby on the ultrasound for two more weeks. So we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but we're hoping for a girl. Pee packs are still warm. Very good. And the paper's dry, that's a good sign. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? This looks like a type of gourami. Pearl gourami. I think I ordered pearl gouramis. They look okay. I'm oh, sorry, trying to lift the bag up to see the bottom. I don't see any dead. And for all of you that are new here, the way new fish get treated is um, they we do a plop and drop here. I try to temperature acclimate them to the tanks, but I find if the fish are going to warmer water, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and here's neon tetras. Um, they all get dewormed with Levamisol flake food. And then a day after the first treatment of Levamisol flake food, they get, um, I have antibiotic flakes. Hold on, I'll grab it in a second. Here's one of them that I got, General Trio. I got three bags of this. Um, it has metronidazole, nitrofurazone, and canamycin sulfate in it. And then this one is metronidazole. I've been using this one. Oh, it's a little bit missing, but because uh, I've been using that one. And then I got two other bags of this one. And then he here's the bag of Levamisol Flakes. I get this from, um, oh heck, everythingaquatic.net, I guess. They're pretty good. Um, the fish actually eat the food, and it actually works because it killed the black worms in one of the tanks I had, so <laughs> there's that. We recently had a discovery that... The stir by that came in had some sort of bacterial infection on their exterior, and I didn't notice it. Here's more black quarries, replacements from last time. One of them looked kind of sick. This one looks kind of sick right here. He'll be okay soon. He'll either be okay or he'll rest in peace or he'll die. Um, so I got more black quarries to fulfill the rest of my orders. There's probably uh, other bags in here too. Um, so yeah, the stir buys, they look fine. And they were acting great, nice and vigorous and healthy. And then once they got to my customers' tanks, they died within 12 hours um, with red splotches on their body. And I did some research, and there's a type of bacterial infection that the bacteria lives on the outside of the fish um, and when they are stressed like from a transportation like from switching to a different tank that's when it uh, manifests so they did okay making it to me but then once they went with my customer it was just too stressful so um, I thought you know a five day quarantine would be fine as long as I medicated the fish but obviously it was too stressful, so from here on out I am I am implementing a four week mandatory quarantine. I don't care how upset you are about it. Um, I've had a lot of customers that are like, I want to come pick up my fish today because you got them today. That's not how it works, because if I give you these fish today and they go to your tank and they die, I have to give you fish again and I'm out money you're upset because your fish are dead you have to come back here and get them like I'm not doing it because I lost way too much money last time way too much money like let me tell you like I'm not doing 40% off no more I'm doing 30% off for pre-orders and then the fish have to stay with me for four weeks period so and I'm gonna medicate them with all types of dewormers all types of antibiotics and I got to get an antifungal those I usually can treat with salt 
Um, but yeah, so when you pre-order with me, you will get your fish four to six weeks after you pre-order. So if I put it up on the site, if I put it up on the site for pre-order, it means I either ordered it already or I'm going to order it within the next two weeks and then you have to wait the four week um, time period for the quarantine. So you will get your fish. It's a waiting period, but that's why it's so discounted is because you have the waiting period. Also with my pre-order system is you get to request fish that you won't find in the store. Like, um, who stocks these black quarries? I've never seen them in a store near me. So that is the benefit. So it's a trade-off. You get the fish you want at a very affordable price, but you have to wait. I feel like it's pretty fair. Um, and the reason I'm kind of defensive about it is because I had almost every single customer was like, I want to pick up my fish today. And I'm like, you can't. You, I have to do a, a quarantine. And they're like, it's fine. I have an isolation tank at my house. I'll just put them in the isolation tank. And then they take them home and put them in the isolation tank. And they're like, oh my god, I woke up today and all the fish are dead. I'm like, it's, it's because isolation isn't the problem. It's the stress of moving again. That's the problem. You need to have a time period. So I just wanted to stress that. And yeah, I'm a little upset because like the fish died. Like that makes me upset. Like I don't want to provide that product to my customer like that. Like I want to provide a good product to my customer. And but I know that people really want their fish that day. So it's hard because I also want to please the customer. But I know if I do that from here on out, the fish are gonna die. So I, I can't do it anymore. As much as I really want to, as much as I really, really want to give you guys your fish the day they get here, I just can't. Okay, I think these are more peacock gudgeons. No, these are emerald rasboras. Let me double check. Because I misidentified peacock gudgeons as Javanese rice fish for like a week. These might be more peacock gudgeons. I think they might be. But either way, they're all alive. I really wish my camera would stop doing that. I'm about to go to T-Mobile and get a new phone that doesn't do that. It like auto. It has like three lenses on the back, and when I put stuff close to it, it switches which lens it goes to, and I don't know how to turn that off. Okay, panda quarries. They all look okay. I don't see any dead. These are longfin panda quarries, so I sold out of these on the pre-order so people that have been waiting for these will get these soon okay. so far the ones that you've seen that are sold out are the black quarries the long fin pandas what were these are these the black quarries oh I actually do see one dead in this bag oh is I think this is the duplicate quarry Duplicarious. Yeah, it is. These are not sold out. I only had one customer get these, but there is one dead in the bag. I did see one dead in the bag. Baby coming with Wayland? Sure. I got more black quarries and neon tetras and more peacock dodgins and long pantana quarries. Oh, look at this, babe. Scarlet baddest. I don't know what that is. Very popular fish. Scarlet baddest look good. I got a very popular fish for you right here. That's called the big brother fish. It's scoot big scoot brother back fish. a little bit. So I'm the big brother fish. So I'm a race car driver, mommy. Yeah, Waylon was driving his little Chevy truck out in the yard. Yeah. Zach drives it with the um, remote control. I don't see any dead here. Hey, after, let's go to Home Depot. For what? For your starter tools and grass seed. 
These are tiger angler males, I'm guessing. These do not look like the ones I thought they would be. Unless this is a different one. I might have ordered a different type of guppy. Where are you going? Okay. Well, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to get some fish. I don't think so. He got stuck up here in the folds. Dang it. I don't know how to get him out. Well, when I open the bag, I'll get it. Here's more black Corydoras. inside like the crinkles near this uh, metal clip. Okay. What is this? This could possibly be the emerald dwarf emerald rasboras potentially. I'd have to I don't know. <laughs> it actually looks kind of like them. But they're doing okay, you guys. Check it out. I'll probably put these in a 20 gallon. They're kind of big. Look at that. I don't see a lot of dead ones. I don't know if I see any dead ones. This was a really good shipment. I'm, I'm very happy. Okay. This box is empty now. We got two more boxes, so stick with me. I know it's a little bit of a longer one because I don't have a cameraman hitting calls in between each dead space. But let me move the camera closer to what I'm doing so you guys can see better. Is that more better? I feel like it's better. These scissors are very, very sharp. I got them for Christmas. Very, very sharp. This one. Oh, one thing I wanted to say how important it is. You have to put a hole inside the lid for the heat pack. Do not forget. Um, I ordered mud skippers this time, but they were sold out. They didn't show up. Okay, stir buys. Let's try again with these. I think these actually came from a different supplier, so they might not have that bacteria on them. But I'm just going to put antibiotics in the water anyway. They all look like they're alive in the bag. Stir by Corydoras. So, we will get them taken care of. Yeah, I just didn't think I had to medicate the water if, the, if I didn't see anything. They look fine. Okay, more unboxing. These are more stir buys. Um, so my trans shipper, he breaks them up into multiple bags so that they survive shipping, which is a great idea because it looks like they all survived very well. I think there was one stuck in the fold there. Oh, he's alive. I know it's kind of hard to see them in the bag, but I have to film the unboxing. What is this? I forget. I forget what fish this is, you guys. Some type of cichlid? What is this? Is Waylon back? He walked all the way down the steps so he can come and see you. For real? I don't know what fish this is, babe. Oh no, it's humid. It's hot and humid in here. Crabenzas, Crabenzas, Crabenzas. 
That's what it is. Dude, is that the better laugh doing that? Heating it up? Heating the whole basement up? I don't know. What is fish is this? Oh, this is gold severum. Babe, I got gold severums. It's alive. Where should I put it? In this tank right here? The 150? I don't know. Is it sold? You got one severum? And nobody bought any severums. No, I got a couple of them. More Crebenzas. Nobody bought any severums. I just saw them on the list and was like, let's go. Okay. And then there should be more. Okay, here's gold severums. I wonder why that one was in a bag by itself. You think because it was more bigger? Maybe. There's a bunch of gold Severums. I might put them in the 150 a gallon. See if they'll... I have to look up the compatibility of all the fish that are in there, though. Because they'll grow really big and fast if they're in the 150. Alright, here's more gold Severums. <laughs> I didn't know I ordered that many. Yeah, they're definitely going to have to go in the 150, even if I have to take all the testings out. Last catfish, right? All right, I'm saving the best for last in this box, you guys. These are more stir-by Corydoras. Or are they Julie's? They're stir -bys. They all look like they're alive. Uh, I won't know until I open them and dump them out, though. So, don't take my word for it. All right, wait till you see this fish, you guys. They're going to freak out. Babe, this is that boy. What is it? It's a soul fish. A soul a sole. It's a flounder. It's them fish that lay flat on the ground. I don't know if that one's dead. They're supposed to be in brackish water. I think one of them's dead. Yeah, one of them's dead. I ordered five. This one's alive. It's like a flat flounder fish. Uh-oh. You taking the cat? Are you taking Whelan? Okay, last box. I'm assuming that the last soul fish are in this box. Rest in peace to that boy. It happens. We gotta just keep moving on. So, I know a lot of people, so I learned a lot about this pre-order process. I learned that the average consumer of fish has no idea, no idea at all, how common it is that fish, I mean, it die in shipping like this. Someone was like, I'm just going to cancel my order because you had a lot of fish die and I don't want to get my fish from somewhere unhealthy like that. And I was explaining to them, like, fish in shipping die. Like, it's not my fault or the farm's fault. It just happens. What fish is this? Celestial Pearl Danny. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. I had so many people that need this fish. <laughs> so many people that need this fish. They all look like they're okay, you guys. Let's go. I, I think I got enough for everybody. Let's go. I'm putting them in a 10 gallon with nothing on the bottom because they freaking hide and then I can't catch them. Oh, I think there's one resting in peace. Okay. Yeah, so I realized that a lot of customers don't understand like where the fish come from. This is more Celestial Pearl Danio where the fish come from even at even at their pet store like your local fish store that you trust so much um not you know some random girl's basement we get our fish from the same place like i have to have a business license to order from where i order from and your store that you go to has to have a business license more gold severums they're very beautiful they all look like they're alive um so yeah, it just happens, like it's not, now you can do everything in your power, here's the thread fin rainbows, like obviously the farms do their best, they condition the fish before they send them, which means they basically starve them for a couple days, 
some people put medicine in the water some people they there's different ways to ship and do all sorts of stuff to make sure the fish do okay but i'll be honest with you there's only so much you can do before chance and genetics just plays a role in it and here's a green jade shrimp okay so they're not as dark as i would like um I had a couple customers pre-order these, but I'm going to wait until my higher grade green jade shrimps come in in March. I just paid for them today. They'll be here. I ordered them a couple hundred. Um, I was just testing this supplier out, and this is not what I like to see for green jade. All of these are culls. I mean, they might color up once they're not as stressed out, but I'm going to be honest with you. I only want fish that look good even when they're stressed out. And I don't see the other soul fish, so I guess I just got those two and one of them was dead. But I'm going to start unboxing them, or unbagging them now.